My name is Chris Morgan. I'm one of the global ambassadors for the Federation of Gay Games and I'm a world champion powerlifter. So tell us about participating in the Gay Games. Well the Gay Games are a, a multi-sport event that happens every four years. The, the principles are participation, inclusion and pursuit of personal best. And the idea is that gay and lesbian transgender athletes come together and participate. Um, and they're all welcome to participate on a, on a quadrennial basis. And uh, I gather that you uh, were rather successful in your own uh, participation in the Games. Well, I started at the Games in 98. That was my first ever um, competition in powerlifting. Um, I took a silver medal. Um, but since then I've took six Gay Games gold medals. Um, but the Gay Games have really been a place for me to um, compete uh, openly and uh, honestly about my sexuality. But they've given me the encouragement to go on and compete in mainstream sport. And I, I compete for England and Great Britain um, at world class level in, in powerlifting, that's what I do. And I, I understand that uh, Justin Pashnu was uh, an important for you in your own journey of coming to terms with your sexuality and competing as a sportsman. Can you tell us a bit about that? Yeah, Justin's story really affected me and in 1998 I was just starting out as a powerlifter. I was training for my first gay games when um, Justin took his own life and for me as a openly gay athlete but also a soccer fan, a football fan, you know, it really did affect me. It, it, it made me angry, and it it really um, um, it really affected me for for many years after that. And and was Justin a kind of an inspiration for you in terms of the, the decisions you've made in your own life in competing? Well, my first medal, um, first gold medal at Sydney Gay Games 2002, was dedicated to Justin's memory, and um, basically. Um, I, I knew that no athlete, it, what happened to Justin affected a whole generation of young gay athletes going back for a whole decade and we, we have a, a lost generation due to what happened to Justin and I realised that when I made my way into the England team for, for powerlifting, my duty was to be visible and be open about my sexuality. So, you know, the, the legacy of Justin, if nothing else, is that athletes this day and age can be open and proud about who they are. Yeah. And what do you think, um, in, both in terms of football and from your experience generally in sport, what do you think needs to change for LGBT people to feel more comfortable, to be open about their sexuality and feel included in sport? I think the, the, ho the whole um, the sporting community has come a long way. That's without doubt in this last two to three years there's been a lot of progress. Um, in certain team sports there's still a lot of ingrained culture um, that needs to change and that will only happen in time and the more and more openly gay elite athletes that come out and perform at world level then those barriers will come down over time. And finally please tell us what's your favourite ever football moment? It's the Sky Blues winning the FA Cup for the one and only time, Coventry City versus Tottenham Hotspur. And when was that? It was in the 80s. <laughs> Thank you very much.